Hello, hello. This is Monkey Puzzle, and welcome to episode number 28 of Inferno Mines. We're in our new base that we made, or I made, but I'd like to include you guys on the edge of the lush ruins where we will have many adventures very soon. Promise of a wool over there, and lots of loot and territory over here, and the next place over here, maybe even a victory monument. So last episode, which if you watched it, or I hardly recommend you do if you didn't, we made this base uh, that includes this balcony that we're looking out from, this nice little uh, covered patio over here uh, to get out. And over here, we've got this big depot for all the storage mine carts that we're going to bring all our stuff forward in and leave them in the carts and keep them in here so we can move them forward if we need to. Oh yeah, by the way, you might notice you can actually see all the derps over here, the six. Uh, what was going on before is I realized, and this is, I don't know, I guess I should have figured this out. I should have been recording in full screen. I had that little bar up on the top and that was just taking away enough pixels that, that then had to cut the, the, the very edges off. So, yeah, uh, this is left over from Vex, by the way. Uh, this was the original rail line he put in. Uh, I like leaving this because it kind of symbolizes we'll be moving forward at some point. I don't need that right there. And these are ugly. Uh, these are silverfish. <laughs> we'll have to make sure we kill them in one shot. Or maybe just totally ignore them and go away and have them despawn. Yeah, I might do that. Uh, so anyway, uh, today is moving day. I'm going to go get uh, all our stuff from the base at Intersection 1 and send it forward in storage minecarts. Uh, that's going to take quite a bit of time. So I'll probably just do that on my own. If there's anything interesting happening, I may show you a clip of that. And the other thing I'd like to do today is move the uh, mushrooms forward and set this up to be a mushroom farm and a wheat farm in here so I'm not even quite sure exactly how I'm going to do that what makes sense to me is to make this a wheat farm here oh right I forgot about you guys <laughs> the trick is we gotta um, oops, make sure we one shot them Ooh, if I can hit them hold still otherwise this whole thing will come apart with all the silverfish uh, anyway I know it had a counterpart too. Maybe it went back into something. Who knows? Who cares? Uh, anyway, over here, the way that makes sense to me is to make this a stepped wheat farm. And then if we ever get water, then we could just uh, have it automatically harvest. And the wheat is not for us, but it's for the mushroom so that we can do a constant diet of steak from here on. We've been doing potatoes, uh, which are all right, um, but the uh, saturation doesn't last as long as I'd like it to when we're fighting mobs and stuff. And steak is the best, or pork chops. Um, so, you know, the mushrooms could go down here. It's kind of a perfect place for them. The only problem with that is that I will hear them all the time. And it will drive me nuts. So I don't want that to happen either. So... Maybe that's not the place for them, because whenever I'm getting my storage here, I may hear them. Um, which wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. But I'll figure it out. Maybe they'll just get a small pen right here for now, and I won't hear them most of the places over there. We'll see. I'm going to do that a little bit later in the episode, though. I'm going to move the stuff forward first. So I'm going to head out to the old base at intersection 1. And I'm going to pack up all my stuff, uh, which is quite a bit of. I've got all these chests mostly full of things that we've looted from the map. And there's some stuff uh, also over at uh, Haynes Disgrace and a couple other places. So that's not going to be very exciting. So I'm going to get that done and I will show you the results. I'm going to miss this base though. 
I'm going to have to come back and visit it. It's been uh, very nice. I'm very fond of it. I just started to load these. Uh, these two just have some of those potions that Vex has been giving us that I don't use that much, the poison and the night vision. Um, I got to do these in order of uh, priority, in reverse order of priority, because the first ones are going to go furthest back. Anyway, you can see I'm taking care to keep these separate. The one downside of using uh, storage minecarts is that if they hit an end block or something together, they'll merge together and then become this thing that has its own velocity that kind of shoots around all over, all over the place and you can't access both of them you only get one so I gotta keep them separate uh, anyway so I'm gonna be doing this at the other end too just like this and signs on them saying what they are um, so let's send one over and or we'll send them both over and see if they actually get there so it's a little tedious having to do this, but I don't know a better way to do it right now without a whole bunch of pistons or something. So yeah, I'm going to go over there and see what happened to them. Make sure that they made it all the way. I made a few changes before along the track to make sure that they can, but uh, I'm just going to double check. Meet you over there. I made it all the way over here. I haven't seen them yet, so I think they made it. There they are. So that's all good. <laughs> Give them a little bump. And one other thing I want to point out is I made this long snaky thing. So without any power rails. So they're very unlikely to hit the end. Uh, which is the main thing I want. Um, because then they won't, uh, they won't get into that little multiple configuration. They can hit each other like this. And that's not a problem. Um, they'll just bump each other along, I think, for the most part. Let's test that one more time. See if we can... Oops, I knocked them the wrong way. Make sure they don't go backwards. And that we don't... They don't get lodged together. If that happens, yeah. So that's what I wanted. So they have lots of room to slow down and push each other. And then uh, when we get them all over here, we'll push them into the places we want and put the blocks between them. All right, so that's what I'm doing. Oh, you know, and one other thing I think I'm going to do, just in case. I had this set up before, but I took it down. All right, come on, leave me a couple of these. Let's do about, uh, can we do that? Is uh, over here, let's just put, uh, we'll put it over here, give them one more little thing. We'll put a break in, in case somehow they get bumped backwards these things can be unpredictable we're gonna put a little thing to stop them here so if they come from this direction this will get powered and push them forward let's make sure that works let's see if we do it ourselves yeah that works but if they come from the opposite direction they'll get stopped power rails when they're not powered are actually breaks and they'll get stopped right here so that's our fail safe. All right, so I'm gonna do it all. So here goes the first round, ready to send off. The slabs on the chest indicate the ones that are empty. So first round, off to the new base. Go. <laughs> this is pretty fun. And so from here on, yeah, they're gonna be mobile in case we need to move again. And as I do this, I'm also determining my organization system, uh, which can keep changing. I'll show you when it's all done. I only did a portion of those, and some bounced back already. And uh, with all the precaution I took here, they're still derping together. This is a bunch of them stuck together right here. You can hear them. So annoying. Arrgh. I'm going to have to figure out how to fix that without losing them. Ah. You know, these things should work. <laughs> this makes it almost 
too much hassle. Just have to deal with that. No. Uh, all right, I'm on the deal. Why? Stop. No. Go back. <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. <laughs> no. How derpy. Hey, we got one separate. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna have to follow these one at a time. Uh, basically, if when I send these off like this, somewhere out there before they get to their destination, they're going to hit the end of the loaded chunks. And that's basically a wall. And if I send more out, they're going to all stack up wherever the chunks end. And since this is vanilla and not FTB, I can't use chunk loaders <laughs> along the rail line. Uh, so that limits me basically to sending two off at a time. I send one off first, and I send a second, and then I follow. And then I'll load the chunk that the first one is in before the second one gets there, and they won't hit each other. Uh, and I think that's the best I can do under these circumstances. So it doubles my inventory, but it's a pain. Uh, you know, it halves the trips I have to make if I just put them in my own inventory. I, you know, if I put stuff in here, I actually could do a third, but since I've got them all loaded, might as well do it this way. Once we get over here, you'll see what was my clue, is that every time I got over here, I would see the other ones in motion. Well, that one's not in motion now. Um, but I would see them in motion as if uh, they had just got there. Which means, you know, that uh, it was waiting on me to load the chunks so they could keep moving forward.
Well, it took me quite a bit of time, but it's finally done. Besides running stuff from our first homie base at Intersection 1, I had to grab all the stuff out of Haynes' disgrace as well, of which there was quite a bit. I'd say there was at least nine trips out of there. And I, instead of making a rail line to it, all the way to it and back, I just used the rail line that went partway to it and ran the stuff back and forth. I'm not sure which actually would have been quicker in hindsight, um, but we've got quite a bit of stuff now. So let me just go through real quick and show you what I got, and then I'll do the last part of this episode and we'll wrap it up. So over here, um, these are going to be for... Uh, equipment kits when I die. I haven't filled them yet, but one will be kind of a junky one. One will be a good one if I die, because I've got my spawn set over here now. We've got a nice little bedroom, sort of, uh, over there. And then here we've got some special items, TNT and the fortune pick and some soil and ender pearls and these fire charges and buckets. And I'm going to put this on our diamond chest plate. Oh yeah, we could set up a nether wart farm now too. Um, and then I put mob drops over here, not in the whole rest of these, because that's something you get every time you go out. And I didn't want to have to be uh, searching through these for them each time. I could label these. They were in motion so much that I didn't. I uh, probably will soon, maybe. Anyway, um, here's food, the first one of food. And we also have... Uh, food to be here. We could make a chicken farm if we wanted to. We've got almost two stacks of steak, so that's looking pretty good. And then lots of cookies and cake, and I put the golden apples over here. Those maybe actually should go in the uh, special items, because uh, they are. That's the closest thing we have to regen right now. And then uh, over here we start with the iron swords. We've got the enchanted ones, quite a few of them. Some of them quite nice. Um, and then over here, uh, backup of uh, unenchanted iron swords. Uh, some of these things, as I brought stuff from Haynes Disgrace, I ended up with more. And rather than pushing the whole line down, I decided just to add uh, accessory chests. And then when we move them, we'll send them off. We'll make another cart and send that off as well. Uh, enchanted bows. And these are enchantments for bows. Quite a few bows in here. Some of them very nice. And... Then back up regular bows, uh, arrows. There's more arrows over at Haynes Disgrace, along with a number of other things that I didn't pick up. Uh, there's all the bricks and leather and string and stuff over there that we could ever want. More gold armor, more leather armor, blah, blah, blah. That just didn't seem worth it to bring back. Um, so here we start with the really good armor. Uh, besides the th stuff I have in the ender chest, which is downstairs, the, uh, I'll show you real quick. Just for reference, this got a little shortcut to it. Uh, right here in our ender chest, we've got the diamond armor and our efficiency 10 pick. So, oh, and we also have a backup bow and sword in here as well. Um, so, that's the beginning of the good armor. So, then back to the uh, iron armor, quite a bit of it, and one messed up diamond helmet. Oh, this is empty. Hmm, I got a little space here. Okay, so we've got chain mail and more chain mail. And then here we've got uh, enchanted golden armor, more enchanted golden armor, and a little bit more enchanted golden armor. So lots of that. And then lots of enchanted golden boots, some of them with not a whole lot of durability left. And then unenchanted gold stuff, more unenchanted gold stuff. Leather, leather armor, and leather, uh, and leather sort of stuff. <laughs> and then over here we get into the uh, enchanted wood swords, the enchanted stone swords, uh, and the enchanted gold swords. And over here is their backup uh, for repair. Oh, this is a backup of tools. We'll get to that. Um, beginning of the blocks. Let me go start at this end. And... So here we got picks, um, enchantments for picks, uh, something that could be used sort of as <laughs> a tool, I guess. I don't know where else to put that. That's our silk touch, all our cobblestone, um, unless I had, I think I had a little bit in the ender chest as well for making new picks when these run out, and uh, also uh, backup anvils. 
And then uh, we got axes along with our Cleophian crate booper, the ultimate axe, shovels, uh, one of which I actually will need right now. I wanted, uh, let's take one with efficiency and two and I'm breaking. Uh, wood stuff along with saplings and logs and planks and uh, some axes that didn't fit in the other one before I rearranged it. Coal and charcoal and torches, a torch. Uh, wood crafted stuff and some other little crafted stuff, beds and glass, glowstone, sand and gravel and sandstone, sandstone uh, crafted blocks, uh, uh, stone brick and, and related things, stone slabs and then into the other blocks that we were seeing f over there and then uh, wrapping it up over here we've got uh, enchanted books this is all fortune this is all looting this is all feather falling uh, we've got the fire protection from our flame venom spider farm more anvils uh, a few random enchantments that I may never use maybe the smite books um, more special stuff uh, I stopped collecting sugar because there was so much of it but our nether word are one ingot of iron so far. Um, in case we ever get potions, most of our potion stuff, etc. Um, and then uh, redstoney stuff and, and gizmos um, or things that need gizmos. Uh, so that's all in here. And then more sandstone and more sandstone. And then finally, these are all the damaging potions that he's been passing out. Uh, there's actually lots more of the poison back at the Haynes Disgrace. There's stacks of these. So there we go. That's our state of things so far. Oh, yeah, and I left over here. These are the uh, railway kits. I left them over here by the railway. So we got plenty of that kind of stuff as well, which also includes redstone torches and more fences and levers. Um, yeah. So a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, we're definitely prepared for taking on the rest of the map at this point. I'm really glad I did this because uh, I wouldn't have known where various suits of iron armor are and stuff like that if I'd left them all along the way. So, uh, yeah, got all organized that way. And it's also in a state that can be moved from here. Not that I'm all that excited Ooh. <laughs> about how these move. Let me fix that. <laughs> And the last step now, like I said in the beginning, is going to be setting up our food source at this point. Uh, if we're beyond baked potatoes. We're going to move to a constant diet of steak. So I'm going to go visit the Mellow Caverns and go get our uh, wheat and wheat seeds and the uh, so maybe some more soil from there. And set up a wheat farm somewhere in here and a cow pen, a feedlot. Uh, might just end up being under here where we'll hear it and we'll just enjoy the sweet sound of steak in the making. Uh, I'll figure it out and I'll come back to you after I've got that underway. So let's see if our wheat's grown. I was a little afraid this would be out of render distance and not grow, but it looks like that wasn't really a problem. It looks all grown for the most part. So that's excellent. Time to harvest our first crop of wheat. Yeah, and I'm glad I left these guys in there because it looks like the majority of them uh, found their way into lava of the mushrooms. Oh, and I should have brought my silk touch sword because uh, we're going to need some mycelium too. Never thought I'd be harvesting mycelium with a sword, uh, but whatever works. Hey, give me that back. <laughs> And I got the last two pink wool out of the fleecy box in the Mellow Cavern, too. I got to get the other two out of the one in the uh, in Haynes Disgrace. Or maybe not. <laughs> so, yeah, like I said, what I would like to do, if I had water, is make this into a self-harvesting tiered farm here for the wheat and then have the cows below. That would make the most sense to me. But since it's been said that we're not going to get any water in this map actually harvesting wheat on this slope would be a hindrance rather than a help 
So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to use this relatively flat part down here for the wheat. And then I'm going to let the cows graze the slopes up here. So I'm going to set that up and I'll show you what I did. Decided I'm going to build a tree farm too. <laughs> Nice. So here's what I did. I made a little pen here. Uh, little slope terrace thing that I think the mushrooms will appreciate. Uh, over here uh, is space for a oak tree farm. I like to plant my uh, oak trees in a 5x5 five five block. It's one of the things you could do since I don't remember what update allowed trees to be grown like this. But uh, And the leaves will only extend two blocks from the trunks. So we can get a nice old block of wood like that. So we just let that go. We got a wheat farm over here. Uh, got to let it grow out a little bit more to get enough seeds to fill the whole thing. But just filled in the natural cavity that was down here. And then over here, we've got space for three birch trees. You can take a look over here. Um, and hopefully those will grow before we're done. And we can see what that looks like. But uh, yeah, kind of naturing the place up uh, if that's a that's not really a verb but uh, gonna make it look real nice and one more step over here is to make it into a little bit more of a terrain that the uh, let me see keep those down there that the uh, mushrooms would appreciate and also help make it look a little cooler so hopefully that will work uh, I've got a 5x5 five five space opened up for it. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> uh, let's see if that works. Huh. Maybe I need a little bit more space around it. And also, besides those, we're going to have some uh, mushrooms growing down on the floor here. It's probably a source of food I won't ever use, but... Uh, just make it look cool and so this one would uh, be the opposite if it ever works <laughs> I'll if it doesn't I'll do some more hollowing out around it and get it to work uh, yeah I'll get back to you with that in a second hey hey got it to work uh, turns out they need a 7 by 7 space and then also some of the glowstone on here was blocking it so uh, it should work now maybe <laughs> come on you can do it all right let me work on this a second uh, oh it's this one I didn't hollow this guy out yet never mind but these ones will work as soon as I knock some of that glowstone off over there Let's see that one and that one Come on, These things are so finicky. All right, well, I'll get them grown and I'll get back to you. All right, finally got a second one to grow. These things aren't easy. Come on. Woo hoo! It was that little torch up there. <laughs> it was in the way. Woohoo! Looking very cool. I got the birch trees grown. The giant block of oak wood is growing away here. And we got our little uh, mushroom biome, the mini mushroom biome for our mushrooms. Uh, in hindsight, I probably should have grown the uh, second tier of giant mushrooms back a little further just so you can see them. But that's fine for now. So all I got left for this episode is to go get the mushrooms and we'll have steak for the rest of the map. And by the way, 
This is how many unbreaking stone pickaxes I've gone through building this base uh, on this one now. Quite a few. Okay, I got this rail line rigged up to drop off carts into here. We're actually going to go get the uh, mushrooms from the Amanita Caverns because I think it's going to be easier than pulling them up from uh, from the Mellow Caverns because uh, I don't want to have to build a rail line all the way up. And I think I might be able to use wheat just to walk them over to the Amanita Caverns. Uh, I'll show you what I'm going to do. So right about here where I've this goes through this uh, lava for effect. I'm going to have to deal with that. Uh, the mushrooms are over there. So I think I can set this up so I can just walk them over here and hopefully put them on mine carts. So let me make some adjustments here so they won't get in the lava. And then I'll make sure there's a nice, clear, safe path to walk them over from the Amanita Caverns. So I'll meet you when I've done that. Okay, I got the lava mostly covered up. I got this diversion ready to send them up. I got all these mine carts here behind this wall to try to get them in here. I just need to get two over here and I'm good. So hopefully I can do a minimal amount of preparation along the way here. Uh, and they won't go <laughs> into this lava or anything else. I'll see. I definitely have to bolster up that bridge there. I'll figure out what else I need to do. All right, well, here in the Amanita Caverns, I'm going to grab some sand while I'm here, and then uh, I'll record the trek back. All right, that should do it for now. Let's go get some mushrooms. All right, so first I'm going to breed some just to make sure that if I kill some, there's plenty left. I think there's plenty in the cavern, but uh, just to be safe. I gotta save myself at least one piece of wheat. I get a little XP from this too. All right, so let's, let's get about four, hopefully, to come with us. Can you guys do it? Come on, you can do it. All right, come on, y'all. It's moving day. It's the mushroom migration. So let's see if I can get these guys over there. This is going to take a minute. It's going to be kind of a pain. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to speed up the footage and we'll see if we make it. So far, so good. Their AI is a little better than I thought. Let's see if we can make it over the bridge. Come on, you guys. You can do it. Single file. That's right. Oh, walking on the edges. Living dangerously. All right, we're in the home stretch here. We just need to get up and around. Of course, I could have made a rail line, a minecart line that took them this whole way, uh, but I don't think that's necessary. Okay, y'all, come up here. You can do it. Away from the lava. All right, we still got all four. 
Looking good. Okay, we got some bad guys down below somewhere. Get my sword ready. Okay, y'all. Oh, right. I can't have my sword ready. <laughs> Come on. You can do it. Remember me? The guy with the food? Oh, yeah. Woohoo! Everybody grab a cart. Come on, y'all. You can do it. All right, one more. Come on, you can do it. Okay. Excellent. So now let's see if I can get them back over to their new home, the little mini mushroom biome. Okay, so we gotta just open that up and get it over there. And I don't have a button, but hopefully this works. You ready, little baby? You're brave, you're first. Woohoo! There it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Send them on down. You're next. And uh, I should probably follow like two at a time just to make sure I don't get that uh, chunk loading issue. So I'm going to follow these two and then I'll come back for the rest. There it goes. Ooh, this is very nice coming down through the mushrooms now. Did we do it? Did we do it? Oh yeah. You guys rock. You're the first. Uh-huh. Okay, sending off the second pair. That certainly wasn't so bad the first time. Yeah, you guys didn't give me any trouble at all. I'm amazed. So the other guy's fine for the minute, because uh, it'll hit the edge of the chunks and then wait for us as we come but uh, let me not send the second one i'm gonna clean up here a little bit and then we'll be off okay here we go round two that's so funny <laughs> come on here we go <laughs> yeah i should have put those farther apart but they're all right Okay, everybody, welcome to your new home, home of the free lunch. Only a small price, but I won't eat all of you. Oh, yeah. Oop. <laughs> I guess that my ceiling can be a little, uh, a little slippery. Sorry. Come on, everybody. Okay. They're sinking in. Probably because they were in the minecart for a second. Uh, let's see if we can get them up out of there. Hey, everybody. Come on up. About you. And you. You're too young. All right. Well, we've got the start of our mushroom herd over here. They've got a very nice place to live. Lots of terrain to jump up and down on and get their exercise. Yeah, like I was saying, uh, we're pretty well set up now. Uh, hopefully these guys won't get into too much trouble up here or fall down and hurt themselves too much. Uh, I'll have these four bred into quite a few uh, very soon. Um, but we've got wheat for them down here. We've got uh, plenty of wood. we got all our stuff. And we got a very nice base going on. So next episode... We're done being homemakers, and we're moving on. Uh, we're all set up to do that. But just, uh, yeah, I wanted to take a little break from the fighting. And uh, this part's really fun for me. Plus, I think it's going to give us a very strategic advantage in the rest of the map, just being this well set up. So we can celebrate with a little steak, except that I'm not hungry. <laughs> but that'll be our diet for now for not eating cake <laughs> all right everybody thanks for watching this i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you next time